Hi friends, this is Susie, your Candy Crush Guru, here to help you solve the puzzle of level 892, where we have 40 moves to collect 45,000 coins, and that's really tough to do because we've got <laughs> so many problems on this board. Um, we've got barriers everywhere, even these cake bombs and the UFOs that can be helpful right now are in our way. We've got um, frosting and chocolate to deal with, plus spawners. Now we see a couple of opportunities potentially to make some color bombs. I could try uh, to get the orange color bomb by making this yellow connect and trying to drop an orange through. The problem is I've got six different colors on the board, so the odds are against me. Even though I could drop an orange here, here, or here, the odds are still against me. But here I see an, a way to set this up immediately, and uh, the odds are much more in my favor. It just took an extra turn to do it. So now I have a color bomb. Nice! Not really the best on this board. I would rather have a striped draft combo if I'm going to be, you know, given some opportunities to choose what is going to be most helpful. But I'll take whatever I can get. It's a lot of work to get this done. And I might be able to match this up with a special. Again, unlikely because the six colors means it's hard to match things up. But I'm going to hold off for just a bit to try that. Let's see if I can work something out. And if not, I'll just take out a color, which will concentrate the rest of the colors on the board. And that might help me here. Chipping away at these cake bombs. Not doing much damage because I can't get to these edges here. All right, so it's time to make a choice, I think. Do I take out purple or red or go for something else? If I take out red, that drops this purple here, and if I'm able to put that purple to use, it would strike the bottom, and the bottom is the most difficult to get, the outside bottom especially. So I'm going to do it. I'm going to take out all red from the board, and then hope to get a purple that I can fit there. Continuing to work in this area. Oh, let's see if I can get something to happen here. I've got two shots at it. There we go. And now I could try to take out purple. Uh-oh, this is going to grow. I have to take out red almost immediately, right? Not necessarily. It's unlikely that it's going to grow on this. It's possible. It's definitely possible. Uh, it's just that the color bombs tend to try to ignore the specials. Yeah, oh well. I didn't see how taking out red was going to help much. Actually, now I do. It's a color bomb, and color bombs do give us points. Although they give us points based on how many of that color we have on the board, and I just removed red. So it wasn't likely to give me a great boost. Looks like I'm heading for a reshuffle, maybe. And that's a problem, because I've got two purple here. I'd like to get this used up. Here we go. Maybe get another purple. That would be even better. Okay, so at least we take out everything, and we'll have access to our... Um, co or our UFOs, and the UFOs can help take this out, right? Let's see if I can get a green up here first. Okay, so I'm going to redeem myself with that missing um, color bomb that I let slip away. And now I'll just take out this. doesn't matter what I match this to, but it's going to open the area up. <laughs> Notice it did not take this out because it slides down. Gravity works against us. But even this cascading could be helpful. There we go. We got that on the board. So many ways I played this wrong. <laughs> I'm just going to tell you now, based off my experience and um, my better thinking now that I'm kind of processing what I did right and what I did wrong. Uh, first of all, I already told you that I should have used that ticking time bomb. The second thing is that after I used the ticking time bomb, I really should have concentrated my efforts to see if I could have um, made another color bomb instead of just using the UFOs right away. Because once I did use the color bomb, I concentrated the colors down there. I actually beat this one. 
I concentrated the colors down. And when you concentrate the colors down, you give yourself a better shot at making more matches and specials. Instead, what I did is I used one UFO that set off another UFO that took out the cake bomb, and it wiped the slate clean. So I had that even mix of all six colors again. Certainly not uh, my best playthrough of a level in terms of how well I did, but helpful in that uh, it shows us when we make mistakes on a level, we learn. And so that's what you always want to do. See what you did wrong and figure out a way to fix it for the next time. If you'd like to see more videos, you can subscribe. And as always, thanks for watching.